Hello, my name is Adonis, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Aquarius out there. So, without any further ado, let's get popping. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see what kind of love is coming towards my Aquas. Coming towards my Aquarius during the week of December 15th and to the 23rd. What kind of love is coming towards you, my Aquas, during the week of December 15th and to the 21st? <clears throat> okay, that feels great. So right off the bat here, we have a person that's looking for something long-term and traditional, okay? Can be long-term and traditional, the Hierophant here. Um, and they've decided to take things into their own hands, okay? So they're, they're moving things in the direction that they want them to go into, okay? They're not leaving anything to chance there. They want something traditional. They're taking the reins of this bad boy, and they're moving it in the direction that they want it to go into. Now, they put some fillers out there, and you happen to be one of those fillers, it looks like, you know, seeing where things go. But they're waiting to see what kind of, see what, what, what comes in over the horizon, okay? So, this is a person that is already um, pretty much put, uh, tried to put, the word out that they're they're trying this is a person that has already been in contact with you is what I want what what I want to say here. This person has already put into into to, 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 to the ether that they want to be with you and they've also tried to communicate with you they want to be with you as well. Okay? Um we have the hermit card here so they feel like they've done the work that they needed to do within themselves to get themselves all nice and short up here. Um they've done a lot of contemplating about it, you know. Um we also, we have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups here. And so, there is this sense of wish fulfillment that's here. But what's interesting, this is this is what's really interesting, though, is that, like I told you before, this, this person's already come at you, all right? It's already been rejected by you, all right? And that's why they were kind of waiting to see what kind of things came over the horizon because they had already put it out there. They've been rejected by you once, okay? It's sort of like, okay, let me try from this angle. And so that's what's kind of going on here. Now, with that being said, somewhat, it's going to be a little bit of conflict here with this individual, okay? It's going to be a little bit of conflict here with this individual here. Um, I want to... Um, I want to hold off on saying the same um, stalker, maybe. Um, very persistent. Very, very persistent. Persistent to the point that it could potentially cause a little bit of conflict because it doesn't look like they, they, they're going to take no for an answer. They're going to keep on trying a couple more times here. Um, of course... The, you know, you being with them will make them happy. And this individual is a water sign individual. Queen of Cups here. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So a quick recap here. This is a person who wants something traditional long term with you. The person decided to take control of the situation and guide it in, in the direction they wanted to go into. They put some things out there. They, they've already put some things out there waiting for things to come over the horizon pertaining to you. They've done a lot of soul searching and self-reflecting on themselves. So they think, um, you know, they've established the fact that, you know, you you would make them happy and their wishes will be fulfilled being with you. However, we also we got we're dealing with this, too. We're dealing with an individual here that is already that has already shot their shot. OK, it's already shot their shot was like now you're like, no, nah, I'm not really feeling it. And things are getting taken to the next level now where they're like, you know what? Things are going to start getting a little bit tense because they don't want to exactly take no for an answer and or they feel like you know what if i keep on if i can wear you down then maybe eventually you'll let me in so that's what's going on with that so 
With all that being said, let's see what kind of strengths you're going to be working with. What kind of strengths my life is going to be working with? What kind of strengths on my Aquarius going to be working with? What kind of strengths on my Aquarius going to be working with here? So, right off the bat here, you're not afraid to fight for a relationship. You feel as though it's worth your time and a person's worth your effort. You're willing to fight. Or, if they're not, you'll walk away. You're willing to take a leap of faith for the right situation. Okay? So, the reason that you turned this person away wasn't because of the fact that there was any particular, um, quote-unquote, problem. It was just you just weren't attracted to them. And, and I guess they don't understand that. Um, you know, so what, anyway, um, you, you have a sharp intuition, so you're using your intuition to help you move forward. You have the magician card here as well, so you're manifesting what you want. You're trying to manifest that into a reality here, okay? Reality is you're looking for a twin flame, okay? And maybe that's another reason why you were kind of like, nah, I'm, I'm cool, because you're looking for a twin flame connection here. You're looking at the big picture, the long view, if you will, okay? And so, um, that has caused somewhat of a bit of an indecision at times, okay? Two of swords. But again, but these are all your strengths. So, having that indecision sometimes, not just going for any old thing, it's kind of been a bonus, kind of been a benefit, okay? It helps you from making a, making a mistake by getting involved with someone that may not exactly share your particular perspectives, on things um so yeah there's that so with that being said let's see what additional information i can find out what kind of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation what types of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this particular situation here we go here we go so as i said you're looking for a twin flame okay before in the past you did not now you are that's pretty much straight self-explanatory. You use your manifesting your ability to bring things into your conscious circle that you want to be there before you didn't. And you feel like you have the high ground. And I'm telling you, you do have the high ground because you know what you want. Um, this individual that uh, is continuing to uh, be in your orbit here. Um, again, I want. To, I'm not. I don't want to say stalker. Okay, I think that's too strong of a term but i will say probably a nuisance uh would be would be a better word a persistent would be another um and over a period of time it, it could end up becoming an issue but i don't see anything to immediately be worried about here so uh what additional information does spirit want to give us to check this thing down what additional information Spirit wants to get this thing down. Let's see what else we So, you are ready, but you're waiting. You're waiting for that right person. Okay? As I said before, you're waiting for that twin flame. So, that's pretty self explanatory. Moderation. Make sure you moderate, moderate your time. And your energy properly. You don't want to put all your energy and time into a situation that's going to be a dead end. Okay? So, moderate your time properly. Reserve your strength. And give energy to those things where that's worth getting energy to. And finally, keep remain in motion. Which is keep moving. Okay? Keep moving forward. Until you find that thing that fits you. That checks all those boxes. Okay? To keep on moving forward. Okay? That was a pretty straightforward uh, reading there. So... With that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Hey, if you guys haven't already, please like, please share, and please subscribe. This is a, again, this is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, that is okay. Um, and you want to know a little bit about your particular situation, please feel free to get a personal reading. I'll leave the links below. Um, if it does resonate with you, hey, that's even better. And you want to know a little bit more, click the link and we can make it happen. Um, yeah, so... It's pretty much self-explanatory. So um, I love you guys. My name is Adonis, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.